it's on the Black Bears defenders to make a play. How about this win off the faceoff? Beanick had a path, but the puck was too far out in front of her, unable to find it and gather in time. Beanick now in the middle, wide open, kicking it around a few times, pass to the other side, and it trickles in. Summer Ross will score for Holy Cross. They knocked it around in front a few times, and they finally knock it home. It's 1-0 Crusaders. John, that looked like it was going to be a dead play. Beanick couldn't find it playing soccer. No, you're playing hockey. You're on the ice. Somehow, it ends up on the far post. Ross, right place, right time. Beanick just couldn't get it out of her skates. Was it even? Yes, it was her stick. I didn't know if it was a black bear at first. There were a bunch of sticks. Anderson there and Leach as well. But it Tia sliding in, pass down, major shot attempt. McQuaig, and then Atia back towards Lang, shorthanded opportunity the other way for Coppola. Coppola shoots, scores! Shorthanded goal for Maine. Who else? Reda Coppola. Her second goal of the season already in two games. She's picked up right where she left off last season, and this one comes on the shorthand. That's a tough one for the Crusaders to give up. And again, starts with sloppy passing. Not to say the Crusaders have been sloppy this game, but soft passes, errant passes, and another one there. Just trying to go D to D. Just a great inside. look up the ice. She was free entering the zone with the puck. Matska over to Lang on the right side. Dumped down into Feeney. Lang. Sends one in, tipped up in the air, dangerously, and it finds the back of the net. It popped way up on Lauren Porter, and I think it came back down off the back of her. And of course, you hear a lot about with all sports, football, hockey, you protect the head and neck area. No true contact there with the head and neck, but still a dangerous stick location. Now, without being it coming in, if she doesn't play that again, who knows what would happen? That puck popped way up in the air after it was redirected by Beanick and Porter got a piece of it. So you wonder if there would have been a goal, you know, actually on the board for Holy Cross just by the way the puck was coming down and going to bounce off her anyway. But yeah, Eichenbach just made the decision that as soon as he saw the win on the faceoff, they were going to send somebody in. Here's Ross jumping in front of a pass. Wide open lane for Ross. All the way down the other way. Summer Ross. Her second goal of the game on the empty net. Crusaders take a 3-1 lead with a minute 41 to go. Well, immediately after that pass, I looked over to the main bench and Reichenbach was not happy. Saw that pass go right to Summer Ross, looked down, shook his head in distraught. Ross could have carried that one in. Her second goal of the game, her second goal of the season. She matches her career high, two goals from last year. And Ross and Beanick each with two points. And how about Feeney as well? For McQuaig. Maine will try to come up with a miracle here at the end. Coppola scores! A power play goal for Ida Coppola. And just like that, not so fast. 23 and 6 tenths seconds remaining. Ida Coppola with her second tally. Well, Brennan gets a good look at it. Not much traffic in front. Coppola just a quicker release and better shot. Uh, I guess Atia was in the way a little bit. 